Hello everybody, welcome back to another creek fishing adventure and you can see behind me this is one of those beautiful creeks that Tennessee has. Uh, a little ways from my house, got here and it started to rain a little bit, but the water is very low which means it's going to be really clear. Um, I was, my goal, I wanted to try fishing top water and I have a little, uh, little baby Zara spook that I've had forever. It's cloudy, I don't, that's the only one I have with me, I don't know if I should be using a different color but we're gonna try it. We'll probably go through a few different lures and um, hopefully this creek didn't get pounded too much over the weekend and people, you know, fish these areas a lot, especially when it's hot in the summertime. So uh, hopefully I can get out here and get some fish. It's a really cool place and uh, hopefully a couple of nice fish show up. Oh, there was one down there. Come on. There was a smallmouth down there. I don't know if he was gonna go for it or not. I'm gonna try this little, I'm gonna try this topwater for just a little while. Um, I don't know. I don't have, I've never caught any fish. I've never used one of these before. I like how it works. I've seen a lot of people catch fish on them. Don't know if it's gonna work today, but I'm gonna give it a little try. Then we'll switch to another lure and then maybe another lure and I don't know. Hopefully uh, we'll like figure out something that will catch some fish. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know if it got on camera, but I had about two, uh, two little twists, whatever it's called. You go like walk side to side. And I got a large mouth. Not the species I thought I would catch first. Definitely looking for some small mouth in here. But it was cool to have a little large mouth take it. Oh, got something. <laughs> All right, my second shiner I snagged. These things just keep hitting that stuff. Uh, this water is a lot shallower than I thought. Or the couple times that I've been here before, it's been a lot deeper than that. So this is like really low. There's definitely, I still see smallmouth. Like I'll see them in a few different places. Um, but I haven't seen a hole that's like deep where I can just cast into it. I think there's some coming up somewhere here. Oh, 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 I got him. <laughs> that thing popped it out of the water twice. Let's see if he stays on there. He's a little guy. That was cool though. He popped that thing up out of the water twice. Nice. Oh, he got it hooked good. And I got myself hooked. Okay, Let's see how deep is it? Mm, not too bad. Got a fish on there. Got a, did I bring my pliers? Probably not. Okay, got the hook out of my hand. It wasn't that bad. All right. Ouch. Stabbed myself. Fortunately, that fish got hooked deep. Oh, he took it. Ow, that hurt. I thought it was going to be stuck deeper in my hand than that. That wasn't the best situation. I don't know how he got it like that, so... Hopefully, we won't have that happen anymore. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, this thing's getting a lot of attention from fish. They're like swarming at it, looking at it. I don't know if Top Water's gonna get it done today. Oh, there's a smiley right there. Either that or nothing's gonna get it done. Cause there's tons of small mouth from 10 to 16 inches, I'd say. All right, it's noisy. I'm gonna stay here. I got a little, really light. It's a 3 16 ounce jig head and a jig with a little crawl trailer. Real lightweight, small jig. If anything's gonna get these fish to buy, I think this 
might be one of the lures so let's see what happens This looks like a good spot for something to be living. What is that guy? A rock mass? Something ate it. Dude, the largemouth are like, that was no largemouth, no little largemouth. It's funny how the largemouth can be so eating everything and the smallmouth, I can't get them to take a bite. Except for that one. That one did. <laughs> That's a good one. There it is. Stay on. Ah, let's get this guy in. Stay on there. Stay on there. It's not a giant. Oh man, there's a big one behind it. Wow. There's one that's three inches longer, at least, behind this guy. Yeah, we've been looking for this. Beautiful fish right there. Okay, that's like a, just a 12 inch smallmouth. Good creek size. There was definitely one that was at least three inches longer than this. Okay, so I've actually been at this creek for an hour and a half. So it's a beautiful, awesome creek, but I've been walking it an hour and a half to be able to get my first decent fish. Now I've caught a few other ones, so I've caught some, but sometimes, or a lot of times, I don't just show up and start catching fish. I've walked probably over uh, maybe a couple miles and just keep looking. And you just don't know, sometimes you don't know what hole or what, you could be out for a few hours and all of a sudden, a certain time of the day, it's like, oh, oh, they, like I'm, I'm just gonna start eating now. Oh, there's another one looking at it, come on. He's right on it. Oh, oh! I watched that one eat it and spit it out really fast. There's a few of them right here, like a few solid fish. Okay, time to switch up again. I'm gonna go to a Nico Helgermite, mud bug color, my favorite colors for clear water. These fish are very finicky and I'm just trying to get them to take a hold of it. And this right here, a lot of times, can get them just to bite a little bit longer or just make a little more commitment. At least we'll find out. The little chipmunks are running these rock ledges back and forth. They're just like running, I saw two or three of them running down, back and through, I don't even know how they get on those ledges and stay. Okay, this looks, oh, there's one. I'd say this looks like where a fish should be. There's our rock bass. He finally showed up. This uh, is kind of a hole where something ought to be hungry right up here. Rock bass number one today. Okay, okay, easy, easy. He's all fired up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is a solid one. I'd say it better be something hungry right here. Oh, he's fighting good. There's one, two little ones behind it, but this is a solid fish. Nice. Nice. Oh, he's thick too. 
She is thick. Dude, this is a good fish. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah. That's a good fish right there. Man, that's a quality, thick, smallmouth bass. Yes. Mm. That's what uh that's why I walked and walked for. Hopefully there's a few more to come. I'm gonna go a little further upstream. Hopefully I'm getting away from the pressured fish. There's a little one. The rock bass. Man, this water is so clear today. It is about as clear as you can get. I'm just looking at the bottom and it's, you know, three or four feet deep out there. I'm just, you know, can see the bottom easy. Hawk. Oh, what's a nice little deep hole looks like up there. See if we can try to approach these. Every time I come up on a hole, you know, it's hard to get the cast way over there before a fish sees you. So you gotta come up easy. And I'm kind of looking, and a lot of times there's fish hanging out in a lot shallower water than you think they are gonna be. Just trying to scan, walk real easy. If I do spook something, or like maybe it won't get really scared. I'm trying to cast my way up and work my way up into that hole. Don't walk up and then cast in the hole, like cast and work my way up into it. I think there's something right there. What is that? Eat it. Oh, who's a little guy? Got it. There it is. I'm, oh, wow. Thing came out two or three feet out of the water. There it is. Had to be a big one hanging out. Taking his time. I got my, I don't have my drag set real tight. I like to leave it a little loose in case they try to rub you on a rock. It won't break me off right away. But these, um, these little one pounders can, one, one and a quarter pound bass are really strong. Wow, another good one. Okay, we've finally got a couple decent fish. Depends on decent, depends on uh, where you're catching them from and who you are. Some people this wouldn't be big, and some people this would be their PB. That's a 12 inch smallmouth, 13 maybe. 12, 13 smallmouth, nothing to be, uh, nothing to be sad about there. Good fish. Oh my, I just broke my line. I just checked my line too. How, how does that happen sometimes? It is crazy how a line breaks sometimes. Well, I had made just a really good cast, hit right on the bank and a, a nice small amount. I couldn't tell how big it was, but he came out and hit that lure like right after it hit the water. So I've been I really want to catch something on top water. And now that the sun's out, it was gloomy earlier, it's sunny now. I'm gonna try this just a little bit more. Plus the fish are starting to seem like they're starting to get more active. I don't know if it's the area, or the time of day. If I don't catch anything pretty quick, I'll probably just put another helgramat back on there. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I think, I think I don't know if it's the time of the day or the area, but that was a couple good hits on top water. Nice. And didn't get hooked too bad. A little smally. Dude, this is it. <laughs> they are ready to hit now. Oh, another little guy. Whoa, 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 easy. 
All right, number two in about two minutes on the top water. I was like, yeah, there's a couple solid ones in here. I'll hit this area with the top water, then I'll probably go back through with the Helgramite. I got hit again. Dude, they are hammering it. <laughs> got him. Got him. That's a solid one. Got him. Oh, that's a, is that a large bat? <laughs> yes. Oh, nice large bat. Oh, he's nothing big. 11 inch large mouth. <laughs> oh, did I get it? I got something. He knocked that thing plumb out of the water. And he came back for it. A little small. Man, even these little guys come take a chunk out of a little top water. Okay, time to head back downstream. I'm not gonna go top water. I'm gonna go back with a Helgramite and I'm gonna hook it up here. I actually had to re my line, so I got about a six, six to seven foot of 10 pound fluorocarbon, a uni knot for my um, braid to fluorocarbon knot. And I think this is 15 pound braid. I usually like to use 10, but this one had 15 pound on it. So I can't throw it quite as far as I could on 10, but I still do pretty good. This is a Z-Man Bullet Z. It's a one tenth ounce jig head. And this is the Nikola Helgramite. And um, I'll just go ahead and show you how I put it on there because I get asked a lot. Hook it through the side. That's how I like to do it, right through the head. And uh, these little keepers on the Z-Man stuff, for, these hooks, four Z-Man hooks work good for the Helgramite or the Nico stuff because it's both really hard plastic. You're not going to tear it up. So I kind of work it on there, get it set really good, line it up where I'm going to have it, poke it through sideways. And there it is. The hook's just on the outside, kind of exposed. I can tuck it in if I need to, but I'll leave it right on the outside. The Helgramite's pretty straight. And um, I just don't think that those bigger fish were hitting the top water right now. I'm trying to do more top water creek fishing. I want to try it. Some days it gets a, I've seen it where some days it really gets them fish to hit. And then some days it's like, I mean, they can just look at it and not want it. And all the bigger fish today, now maybe later on this afternoon, they will hit, be hitting it. But so far, all the, all the little bit bigger bass that I've seen have not gone after the top water. Get it. <laughs> I watched that one come get it. Oh, he's dark looking. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, 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 eat it. Gotcha. Wow, they are like, goodness, they're eating a lot easier than they were earlier. Oh, nice. Dude, I can't even see these fish. They're blending in so well. Water may be deeper there than I think. Oh, I thought it was like a couple feet deep. I think it's like four or five feet deep right there. Chunky little large mouth. 
a lot of largemouth in here to hitting today. <laughs> I figured that was a rock pass. I saw this fish come over here. Like, and just thump, sucked it in. There's a good small mouse sitting in front of me. With a fat rock. Everything in here is, man, pretty healthy. Oh. What in the world? He's over there. I saw, I thought I saw something. That's a better fish than I thought. This was just like a little bitty cutout over there. I toss in there. The fish are way more aggressive now than they were earlier, like like two hours ago compared to right now. It's it's weird how I just caught a rock bass. I forgot to turn my camera back on as I'm getting getting back down closer to the truck. And um they, I, that rock bass came out of like a log, came out four or five feet, hit my lure. Okay, my stomach is growling. This, I can't remember if this is the last big, like, deeper stretch. I remember seeing fish in here though. And stand back, cast in. Let the lure do the work. Anything, anything? Uh oh, I'm caught in a rock. Oh, oh, had a little bite. Okay, maybe not the first cast. This is the second cast, this is it right here. And kadoosh. Come on, fish, where you at? Nothing. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing to me? Oh, maybe they're back there a little bit. Oh, yeah, that was it. Good one. Oh, wow. That's my best one today. Dude, he's got some power. Now he's not even as big, but he is fast. Been racing, running track over here. Good one though. It is a good one. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Man. That may be the biggest one today. That's what I came for. These fish like this. Nope, not the biggest one, but it's another good one. Another 12, 13 incher. Wow, that was cool. I saw that guy come. He was waiting on it. I'm just walking down, looking for a little spot over there. Looked like it was deep enough for a fish to be hanging out. Hits the water. The fish was looking upstream. It turned around, went downstream, got it in about a blink of an eye. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> I guess there's a donkey up there. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that was at first. There's a hill right there. I probably startled it with my toggin. <laughs> All right, back to, back to fishing and walking. <laughs> 